3v3 Argent Shelf Blue Team. A whole bunch of mech boys. First up we have Nyam. Alongside Phantom of the Opera. And rounding out Blue Team is Psycho. These are teleporting commanders. Fight range. Do some nice damage. Can repair and put down turrets and support. But they are pretty fragile. Red Team is Vizja as a Chaos Lord. Durable and destructive commander. Fights melee. Cannot be suppressed and walk through cover. Impactor as a Eldar Farseer support commander fights melee has loads of buffs. And Griffox is a commando knob. Tricky commander can sneak around and infiltrate. Fights ranged and melee does some nice damage. Bit unpredictable. West side looks like it's the Chaos Lord against one of the mech boys. And Chaos Lord finishes the cap. Took half hit points of damage though. Mechboy does pretty respectable damage with that default shooter he has. As does the Commando Knob with his twin link shooter. Eldar Farseer trying to tie up this Mechboy who goes for the building. No garrison counters this early in the game. Another one teleports in and starts shooting up some Guardians and takes out a model. Here come a whole bunch of orc shooters. As you can see, blue team all going for double shooters, light range of retreat. Nice DPS and can suppress with an upgrade. Heretics moving in. Bad news for shooters in general, really, in the melee state and with their grenade launchers. So perhaps double heretics would be good for this job on that west side. Meanwhile, east, orcs versus orcs. Griffoxes, Sluggers, very risky coming in here. Walking into double shooters and enemy Sluggers and he's going to lose this squad. That was a crazy decision. The Sluggers of Psyka. This is no Phantom of the Opera getaway. Now shooters versus shooters. And they are done in droves. And Phantom of the Opera has to retreat them but did not lose a squad. Griffox now going for Storm Boys. Node being shut up, West is still red, 441-500. Triple shooters for Phantom of the Opera, also for Psyker. A whole lot of Dakar going on here. And big shooter for Mechboy of Psyker. Simply called Dakar Dakar Dakar. 429-500. I suspect we'll see the special shooter from the find a knob in tier 2 to wreak havoc among the light infantry orcs here comes a shuriken cannon for impactor set up team that suppress very good choice versus triple shooters as it will just shut them down west side all quiet noise marines on the field for Vizja a very good choice also versus double shooters or triple shooters Disabling ranged weapons and doing quite a decent amount of damage to light infantry will also take down these generators sharpish. Here we go. Heretics have their aspiring champion turning them into a pretty nice melee unit. Meanwhile, center. Farseer wading into the sluggers. Should be tying up some shooters, I think. Loses a guardian squad, yes. And might go down herself, retreating through sluggers, retreating units taking 30% more damage from melee. And this gen farm totally raised and is in fact being capped by this job. Blue team tripling mid. Shooter boys with a commando leader here. A knob leader, sorry. And another one. Increasing the DPS and durability since damage will be shared. The commando knob should die last. And they are detectors, as you can see from the eye on the unit decorator there. This mech boy has electric armor, you can tell because of the grenade icon on top of the mech boy. That arrow icon indicates that he can teleport. Here comes the Chaos Lord. I don't see much from him. Has free reign on this west side. Totally unopposed as blue team triple mid. And defend east. 
some orcs behind enemy lines here with big shooters. Trying to outshoot guardians. No sign of a grenade here. No. Very odd. Should have fleeted in as they're about to retreat. Electric armor on those heretics is bad, bad news. Out. Huge AoE damage potential from that war gear. Does leave the mech boy quite vulnerable though since it drains his energy and he can't teleport out. But as you can see, absolutely wipe those heretics. Only the aspiring champion left, which is a Chaos Marine. Chaos Lord in here against Orcs. Where's Kill the Weak? There it is. Healing him almost up to full health. Such a great ability when you can get his hit like that. Unfortunately, doesn't hit hits quite so crisp, quite so often. 324, 500, a 2 to 1 for red. Yet to lose a victory point. And Farseer runs away. Guardians get away with a single model. Blue team seem to have had the better of engagements. But abandoning the west side means they are behind MVPs. Now they are capping it up with Nyam. And an assault on the gen farm. Reds need to defend. Where are they? They are sitting around their VP. Come on, lads. Node goes down. Will they decap? They do. And here comes a war banner. But it looks like it's going to be cancelled. There you go. Great structure that stuns units. Just another thing that the Met Boy can do. Players starting to hit tier 2. Griffox already there. Will we see the special shooter? No sign of it yet. Vizja hitting tier 2 right now. Perhaps a quick blood crusher would wreak havoc among these shooters. War banner going up, or at least trying to go up. Kerstal runs in there destroying stuff. And there is the war banner, and there it goes off. And stuff is dying. Ouch. Storm boys with their improved rocket backs, Bomber Boy coming in. Blue team look like they're going to be forced off and Reds really need to push the advantage here. Storm Boys being suppressed by big shooters. Aiming, what's that? It's crazy amount of DACA going on. And Storm Boys need to flee. Do they get away? With two models they do. Weird way on the field for Griffox. Very good choice versus all these Shooter Boy squads. The problem with mass shooter boys so easily counterable in tier two, especially with the artillery coming in. Strangely idle psycho on this east side should be pushing power or something. Three zero seven four four seven, and reds pushing blues power on this west side again. Weird boy being pretty. Respectful damage to all targets with this artillery attack of his. Very slow moving though, of course. And a Wraith Lord on the way for Impactor. Loving all the walkers we're seeing in 3.101. Ouch. Very nicely hit. And Zap goes down on them too. Will it jump? Of course it will. And a very nice job on those shooters. Just about to get away there. It is a Death Dread for Nyam bad news for all of this stuff and it just flees. Quite a knob cannot get his anti-big weapon until tier 3. Sluggers coming up to decap reds natural 297439 and blues are swarming here. Death Dread coming up slowly. Plague Marines on the field though with that missile launcher that snares movement not as much as it did before. Goes right after them to tie them up. Need some support, and here it comes in the form of Phantom of the Opera. There goes Electric Armor. Ice Marine shutting down or trying to shut down these shooter boys. Here comes some sluggers with a knob leader, making them pretty dangerous in melee. Might go after these cursed Space Marines who will need to flee. And there they go. Mark of Zinch cursed Space Marines, I think, yes. Swampum used. Sluggers took a lot of damage from something.
and eventually kill Space Marines need to flee. Did not lose a model though. And now they do. Curse Lord has his devastating lightning claws but does escape. Wraith Lord standing around, guarding natural VP. And this is going to be a huge engagement here. A whole bunch of shooter boys. Death Dread being repaired by Sluggers. Here comes the Wraith Lord. Might be able to finish off that Death Dread. Death Dread, no match for the other Walkers one on one. And as you can see, it, it flees. Wraithlord is still chasing though. Storm Boys just about get away again. So hard to keep those guys alive in 3v3. War Truck taking missiles to the rear. Gets away though with that Mechway Global boosting its speed. 293, 364. And it's a 2 to 1 for blue now. Wraith Lord is still stomping around, has not been touched. And steps on a big shooter there. Stun bomb off the bottom of sorting out those sluggers, but they will be able to decap now. More truck support. A very good choice for blue team. I think they should get two of them, in fact. Too busy going tier 3. And Vizja looking very thin. Kill Space Marines and Noise Marines. After such a good start on this western side, unopposed. Curse Lord going after the Death Dread. Now he does get the hammer icon with the claws, but they are not melee heavy, they are power melee. So as you can see, don't do a lot of damage to vehicles. Mechboy with its big shooter. This is Nyam trying to take out this Curse Lord. Death Tread being repaired. There's Let the Galaxy burn on these sluggers. And Death Tread goes down. But they get revenge and take out the Curse Lord. Here comes the War Truck to support. Sluggers get out with burners. And Curse Space Marines reasonably lucky to get away there. East side. Tons of stuff dying, good grief. Sluggers stunned. Rocket Barrage going in. Weird Boy standing all alone, needs to run. 293, 313. And it's a single for blue. Nyam and Phantom of the Opera and Griffox, all tier 3. Who can get knobs out first? Wraith Lord still barely touched here. Has a shoulder mounted Shuriken Cannon which fires even when it's on the move. We've seen a lot of Wraith Lords in 3.101. Has come out of it looking a pretty attractive Walker. And stepping on shooters left and right. 293, 288 now, a 2 to 1 for blue still. And they've put constant pressure on Red's Natural here. Farseer, is that her singing spear? No, it's a Doombringer. Very nice tier 1 weapon, you don't see it very often. Rune armor also for her, and Spirit Stones. So she can debuff and buff. Might go down here though, up against triple shooters. Wraith Lord not moving into melee, using its shuriken cannon at range, and the fast he goes down. Now it moves in with Guardian support. They were suppressed though, and the shooters get away pretty much unscathed. Took out the fast here, good job them. West side, Cast Space Marines fleeing again. Vizja getting some more Plague Marines. Did not see the first squad go down. Blue team slowly asserting dominance here. It's the Wraith Lord. If it wasn't around, I don't think they would have held their natural red team. Trying to take back some generators here. Blue have had the middle two generators for quite a while. Middle two power farms, rather. Here come some sluggers. Shuriken gets away, wow. Wraith Lord bashing on the rear armor of that war truck. But cannot finish it off, this thing's been alive for ages. Is that the same one even? Battle Wagon on the field for Nyam. 
super unit for orcs, trundles around running over stuff and shooting at it occasionally. 293, 226, mob squad on the field. This is Phantom of the Opera. Elite tier 3 melee unit can go toe to toe with anything in the game pretty much. And that war truck finally goes down, spilling sluggers out. And this is a commando squad on the field for Griffox, perhaps called in. They are a tier 3 unit though. Death Tread catching stuff in retreat? No! Walks through it. Blue team might be able to decap Red's natural. Though Red are taking West. Here's the big zap gun. Hitting those Curse Space Marines on retreat and taking out a model. 289215. Bright Lance on the field for Impactor. You still haven't. Oh, this is a new death road, I think, isn't it? I'm not sure. It's level 1, I assume it's new. West side. Decapped by Sluggers, yes. Wraith Lord still going strong, but now in melee with a knob squad, and look how quickly it dies. They have their hammers too, giving them that momentum buff. Mech Boy has its beamy death gun. Here is that Death Dread. Does it have burners and bits? No. Here's another Death Dread. And there's a Rocks. Global ability of the Orcs. Might take out an allied Death Dread and does. Typical Orky Chaos. Mech Boy now decapping Red's natural. Under Shuriken Fire but knobs tie it up. Bright Lance taking shots at that Death Dread. Fantastic AV damage from this thing but needs to run away from the scary knob squad and blue team completely dominating the map here no way back for red team surely Griffox asking if someone has all of the mental faculties not sure what he's referring to Absolutely no chance now. Reds have a power point and a wreck point. Tier 3 for Impactor. Two knob squads on the field for Blue. One of them fully upgraded with knob leader and hammer. Not sure what the Bright Lance was trying to do there. Almost goes down. And Nob Squad use Frenzy to go into base and finish it off, perhaps, yes. He just had to look at it funny there and it went down. And Blue Team just sitting pretty with a triple 273, 121. Curse Lord down, still down here. Make Boy now standing around base, shooting up stuff. Farcia running into. A whole load of Daka and goes down. It's all over red. Not sure why they're not conceding. They are still at it. Here comes the Barnard up on the east side. Trying to make some leeway, but here comes a Death Dread. Rocket Barrage goes in. Tier 3 for Cypher. And Phantom of the Opera now has a Battle Wagon on the way. In fact, uh, has Seer Council on the field, but they cannot stand up against an Ops squad. Especially with all this support. Does he have enough for a nuke? Psyker does. But this is Naya. Nob squad's trying to finish off this Seer Council in base. Meanwhile, Griffox chased off. Vizja has Plague Marines and that is it and it's the triple 2731 and there is the game blue team very solid throughout red started off decently but were losing squads blues despite being all orcs preserved units very well and took it thanks for watching guys I'll see you next time